All right, so let's get into it. So ages 25 to 30, the average 401k balance is 16,371. The median is about 6,000. Age 30 to 35, 33,135. The median, 12,169. Ages 35 to 40, that's where I'm at, 37. We've got 59,399 is the average, and the median is right under $20,000. Now, 40 to 45, 90,774, and the median is 26,989. 45 to 50, this is where it starts to get important because when you're starting to do retirement planning at 40, retirement planning at 50, retirement planning at 55, you're starting to get into the depths. You're starting to get into the teeth. You're starting to get into the meat and taters, like we like to say down here in the South, of your retirement planning because you're looking at going, hey, in 12, 15 years, I'm gonna be eligible for Social Security. In 12, 15 years, I'm gonna be eligible for Medicare. I need to start thinking about retirement. I seriously need a retirement EKG, a financial plan that's gonna get me to and through retirement. And also, protect my ability to stay there. So ages 45 to 50, 123,686 is the average 401k balance. The median's much lower, 33,605. Ages 50 to 55, 161,000. 43,000 is the median. Ages 55 to 60, the average is right under $200,000, and the median is 55,000. Ages 60 to 65, we start to drop. 198, 194 is the average. 533 is the median. That's because a lot of people retire. They start using those 401ks for retirement income. In age 65 to 70, see we, we see a bigger drop to 185 is the average and 43,152 is the median. Again, we see the drops because people later in life are retiring using those 401ks and those IRAs for retirement income. Now, keep in mind, this does not include multiple different 401ks. The average person switches jobs about five times in their lifetime. So you might have five 401ks, or you might have five IRAs. You might have a 401k and four rollover IRAs, or Roth IRAs, or a brokerage account. So don't let these numbers you know, disappoint you or unmotivate you. Let them motivate you towards your goal for getting to retirement. Because what we want to see in our retirement planning is not necessarily large numbers, but consistency in saving, investing, and contributing. And that's what we really want to see. Now let's look at Fidelity. So Fidelity is a little different. So what Fidelity gives us, and this is on CNBC's website, which I like about this, is it gives us the average 401k from quarter four 2022 versus quarter four 2021. Now what happened for 2021 to 2022? The market went down, right? So the average 401k at Fidelity for everybody in the year 2021 was 135,600. And the average 401k at the end of 2022 was 103,900, a loss of 23%. Now keep in mind, the market was down about 18%, okay? The average IRA at, at Fidelity at the end of 2021, 13700 At the end of quarter four, it was $104,000. And the average 403B, which is hospitals and medical facilities normally, quarter four 2021, 115000 and at the end of 2022, 92,683. So we did see a decrease basically because of market loss. But what the Fidelity Report also showed was that individuals continued to contribute. And we wrote an article on our website, pearlwealthgroup.com, talking about understanding the average 401k balances by age and things that you can think about, factors that affect your 401k balance, and tips to help boost your 401k balance. So check that out. The link is below. If you want to get in touch with us also and get a financial EKG, that is below as well. So I hope this video has helped inform you, educate you, and give you some hope and confidence for the future. God bless. Bye-bye.